Hello everyone, my name is Philip. I'm also known as PS or PS Enough. This is my cat, Xin Xin. She has been meowing like crazy and I decided to hold her, otherwise she won't let me record this. This is like take number five, just to trying to get this video across. Anyways, today we are going to talk about uh, composing your scenes or managing your scene collection in OBS. As you probably should know by now, OBS is a very nice way to organize your uh, scenes it allows you to uh, change between different uh, stuff like this full webcam to uh, a way where you have like minimalistic thing usually people use it to stream to different websites twitch youtube stuff like that and uh, as you start evolving your channel you notice that you're starting to require different kind of scenes like you need a starting soon screen you need a be right back screen you need a, just a full screen of whatever you're showing, which in my case is a black monitor, uh, or something that's showing your main monitor with a little webcam, which is I'm, what I'm using right now uh, to stream to you guys. I'm gonna increase this a little bit just so you guys can see a little bit better my pretty little face. So, um, what is the point of this video? As you start doing a lot of uh, content uh, using OBS, you start accumulating scenes here. And at some point you want to switch between them, but you have stuff that you only use for certain streams and uh, you end up with a huge list and then you need to scroll to find the stuff that you are looking for or if you use those little things to change the scenes, uh, you start having too many hotkeys and it's hard to know which one is which. So you should organize yourself. Um, you can do that by using the scene collection. The scene collection allows you to switch between different scenes. So for example, here I have four uh, scene collections. I have uh, the stuff that I'm using for all the stuff that I uh, generically do, like this video that you're seeing right now. I have the books and beers scene collection that I use for the stream that I do with my girlfriend about books and beers. This is a slightly different uh, view of the cam, as you can see on this on this thing, because I need space for two people. And then I can uh, switch to just the webcam only, and I have a different uh, starting soon and a different be right back. So yeah, a different scene collection. The purpose is very similar, but it's just slightly different. And if you have different shows or different channels that you're streaming to, you might have to solidify this somehow. Uh, if you are on the go, some people sometimes use a pen drive and have a, like a standalone version of OBS, which is just a folder which you can just copy the folder and wherever you go, you just plug your pen drive and you're ready to stream to your channel with your setup. That's great, but if you are having multiple channels uh, on your own computer, you don't want like 13 versions of OBS having around and uh, you also don't want to be changing stream keys all the time, so you need to manage this stuff. So scene collection is a very good way to switch scenes and it only changes this and this. Well, you're not seeing right now. It only changes, hold on, let me change to the other one. It only changes uh, this part, scenes and the sources. And I believe the transitions are also um, included because you can configure them with graphics and stuff, I believe. So this is the only part that gets saved on the scene collection. Uh, the settings itself of the OBS are saved in what is called a profile. The menu is very similar to scene collection. Uh, it doesn't allow me to show it right now. It's grayed out because I'm recording and it doesn't allow you to change your profile while you're using uh, the, 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 the profile. Um, but what the profile does is that it keeps all the internal settings. So like the canvas resolution that you're using, the bit rate that you're using for your uh, audio and video, uh, the stream keys that you're using, the channels that you're using. So that's important because you don't want to keep changing uh, stream keys and stuff like that. That's usually the main issue. And, you know, sometimes you want to do a stream that is more lower resolution and you don't want to be changing all of those settings all the time. So you save them on a different profile and you can have a profile for your different channels or, or things like that. I have, for example, three profiles, one for when I stream to a local server on uh, on Nginx or Nginx, as, as uh, people say that it's supposed to be called. Uh, one for when I stream to to uh, to directly to restream IO or Castor IO or YouTube or Twitch, I could have a different profile for each of these. And then I have one for the books and beers for the show that I do 
uh, with my girlfriend for our channel, which is only on YouTube and uh, uses its own stream key. So to avoid changing stream keys and forgetting to change stream keys and then streaming to the wrong place or having to look up the stream key while you're streaming and then you revealed your stream key and you have to change the stream key and people can abuse and blah, blah, blah. That's all a big soap opera. It takes a lot of time. It's annoying. It's doable, but it's a, it's a lot of time. And uh, having to dig out the stream keys, it's... You never know what site you have to go to get the damn stream key. So that's that's really uh, annoying to keep changing. So the profile allows you to just save those. Save that in a specific profile. And then whenever you launch OBS, just select the profile, select the scene collection, and bam, you're ready to start stream. That's it. So yeah, that's all about it to do on this little video. Hope it was useful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope the video was useful and see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Xing Xing, say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Xing Xing, say something. Well, she just ruined my video.